All right, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Airbus 320 Tech Talk. What do all those buttons do? Thank you again so much for joining me. I appreciate y'all tuning in. We are going to continue our discussion today, uh, talking about the next successive page on the eCam status display on the Airbus 320 flight deck. But before we do that, as always, if you like what you're hearing and seeing, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave comments down below, all that kind of good stuff. Just helps me to keep this channel moving forward and hopefully uh, keep it fun, engaging, and exciting for everybody out there that might be watching. So. Um, Apologies too, it's been a while since I was able to put out a video, it's been a uh, rough uh, last couple of weeks, had a uh, little bit of uh, sickness going on, but uh, I'm back and feeling well, and um, back out flying, I'm in uh, Denver here today on an overnight, so uh, as I said, thanks for joining me in my hotel room on the overnight here, so let's go ahead and bring up the slide of what we're going to talk about today, so as I mentioned, the, the bleed page here on the, uh, the eCamp status display that we're going to talk about, so you know, just in, in, in general, if you haven't had the pre-exposure or, you know, uh, if you want to go back and watch some of the videos where we talked a little bit about some of the components of the bleed system, a lot of this will relate. And, you know, I'm, I'm just going to kind of jump through and uh, maybe talk, you know, through kind of quickly of everything we're going to see on the page here. So if you need some some back data or what have you, uh, go back and watch some of those previous videos where we talked a little bit more in depth about some of these systems. But as I said today, I just want to kind of talk about the indications on the screen here, what they are and, and what they mean. And um, that's about all I've got for you today. So uh, the, the bleed system also, too, just before we get started, you know, it has to do with the, the air and the pneumatics that, you know, we, we're using to do different things on the airplane. And with specific regard to the, the information on this page here, a lot of it has to do with, uh, you know, the environmental control system in the airplane and some of those components as they relate to them. So, you know, let's just go ahead and start at the bottom of the, uh, the the page here. So, you know, first first off, we have the number one and number two side, and this just signifies, you know, the the bleed, um, you know, valves essentially coming out of the number one and number two engine. That's all that means. So, down here we see this IP and this HP. Um, these mean uh, intermediate pressure and high pressure. So, if you consider the the engine as it operates, there's actually you know all these various stages of the the inner workings of the you know the fan blades and all this kind of stuff that are spinning around inside the engine. And you know as you move rearward uh, back in the engine, there's there's a much higher pressure created as a result of the compression and just you know the normal thing that the the jet engine is doing when it's when it's operating. So, as I said, you know we we have these two different stages where we can. Uh, extract this bleed air and the reason why we kind of have the the two different options here is because you know think about as the engine you know is spooling up or spooling down you know all those pressures are changing so you have these times where um, let's say the engine is at a, uh, a lower rpm um, the the pressures that are being created in there might not be uh, adequate to feed the the systems in the airplane that needs that air so we we have this high pressure stage that you know, all this stuff happens automatically, but these valves will kind of open up, um, you know, whenever they're designed to do so, whatever given pressures and, you know, engine uh, RPMs, like we said, to kind of, like I said, keep that bleed demand uh, being met. So um, you'll see these valves kind of uh, moving back and forth, or I guess more specifically the high pressure valve itself, you know, open and closing. I think that the intermediate pressure valve is the one that's, you know, most uh, open, uh, you know, let's say the entire time that the engine is operating. So... Um, hopefully that makes sense to you guys, but just you know to kind of have this base level understanding about the the metering back and forth of you know like you said this this intermediate stage and the high pressure stage kind of opening up uh, as needed. Um, so that's that's just all that you know these uh, the IP and the HP means like I, like I said there and the valves themselves just uh, this just shows the um, the position of the valve. So in this case you know the intermediate pressure valve is open and the high pressure valve is closed off. And if you saw the, the high pressure valve open up, uh, this little green line would connect and you'd see it feeding into the, you know, the system as a whole. So uh, moving up from there, uh, we have a, uh, a temperature and a pressure. So these are the, the temperature and the pressure of the air coming out, um, you know, of this, uh, you know, upstream stage, let's say, you know, coming right out of the engine area there. So the air uh, goes from there and it feeds up into the, the pack itself. And that's what, you know, th this whole area up here, uh, these indications are, are, you know, specifically, you know, what's happening at the pack at the various stages. So the, the first valve that we see here is the, the pack, uh, the flow control valve. So this, this valve actually regulates, you know, how much air is being allowed to flow into the pack itself. Uh, so, you know, we have a, there's a knob up on the, um, 
up in the overhead panel where you can, you know, kind of make a selection from like, you know, low to normal to high flow, depending on the, the demands for the day. So, you know, this, this valve here, like we said, just uh, um, shows us the, the specific position of the, the pack um, regulating valve itself. And then the low uh, in the, you know, the intermediate position here kind of means that it's in a normal position and a high uh, setting here just kind of shows us, you know, what amount of flow we're allowing through uh, the pack itself. So you would see this needle kind of moving back and forth as it related to, once again, what we were doing uh, up on the top overhead panel there with that switch there. Uh, the next uh, couple things here we see is a temperature. So this is the um, the uh, temperature at the pack um, inlet or, or um, you know, the um, I think they say that the pack uh, turbine stage is the air is being fed in there. So you can see it goes from very hot here, 185 degrees Celsius in this case, and then it flows through the pack does what it does. It cools the air off and then it routes it, you know, to, to go into the cabin. So you see here we have this 35 degrees Celsius air that's actually uh, flowing out of there and making its way uh, into the various zones uh, that we needed to feed into to regulate the temperatures on the inside of the airplane. And that's just what these little triangles mean here, you know, just the three different zones. You know, we have the, the cockpit, the forward and the aft sections uh, on the A320 there. So. Uh, that's just all that those things mean. So, you know, just of course on the on the right hand side here, everything's a mirror image and it's the exact same thing, you know, happen on the, the number two or the right hand side of the airplane there. Uh, a couple extra things that we'll talk about too. Uh, this little valve here, it's not uh, labeled, but this is actually the cross flow valve. So remember there's a way that we can actually route um, the bleed air from one of the engines or even the APU to feed, you know, both sides of the packs um, or the, you know, the number one and number two pack. Uh, system the airplane so we can use one bleed source essentially to do everything that we need to do uh, environmentally on the airplane so pressurize it regulate the temperature um, inside the cabin there so that's just the showing us that the, the um, cross bleed valve is closed in this case and then uh, this one up here of course is the ram air uh, valve here and of course it's closed you know this is part of the normal uh, you know normal position that the, the valve is in, you know, most time we're operating in the airplane. But uh, once again, go back and, and uh, take a look at, um, you know, one of the presentations where we talked a little bit about the, um, you know, once again, the environmental system of the airplane. We kind of talked about that, the, the ram air door in uh, specific in itself. But if you didn't watch that, you know, the really basic, um, you know, simple explanation for what this ram air door and system is all about is it's kind of just like cracking a window on your car as you're going down the road. If you need to get some outside uh, air into the cabin for a, you know, any number of uh, emergency type scenarios that uh, might necessitate that, you know, that's, that is what that's there for. So I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. If you have any questions about that, please leave them down in the comment section and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks for watching.